military weapons. Thanks for joining us and welcome back where today we are talking about the Altae tank. The Altae is a modern main battle tank based on the South Korean K-2 Black Panther developed by Otakar for the Turkish army and export markets. Some interesting things to know include that the Altae is the first national MBT that's developed for the Turkish Land Forces Command under the Turkish National Tank Project program, which began in 2005. In September of 2010, the conceptual design phase of Altae would be completed and the first prototype would be ready by 2015. The Turkish Ministry of Defense allocated a budget of $1 billion for the development of the Altae, and the company is considering the development of an electric engine for the Altae, stating that an electric engine would reduce the ability of the engine to identify the tank with thermal cameras in the battlefield. Of its design, the tank is projected to have 120mm smoothbore guns and will feature a CBRN defense element to protect it from chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear weaponry. The planned maximum speed is set at 70 km per hour, which is provided by a 1300 kW engine, and the MBTs will be able to function under 4.1 meters of water. The tank will benefit from both indigenously developed systems and from the cannon technology of the South Korean K-2 Black Panther, accorded by an agreement signed with South Korea. The first two batches will be powered by the 1100 kilowatt MTU engines, whereas the last two will be powered by an indigenous 1300 kilowatt. Alte appears to share strong chassis characteristics with its technological base, the South Korean K2 Black Panther, with a redesigned Turkish turret and Asselson's Vulcan 3 modular fire system. The tank will be fielded with Stanag. 4579 compatible battlefield target identification systems that ensure inoperability among small tank units. There are seven wheels, which translates to a longer hull, heavier armor, and increased survivability. While moving at high speed in order to evade ATGM attacks, sudden breakings and maneuvering at several angles are the capabilities that are taken into consideration from the early stages of development. Isolated ammunition compartments designed to save tank and crew from explosions alongside fire and explosion suppression systems, which will activate in case of a hit or an accident. The tank is also equipped with sensors for the detection of air contamination which is sourced from chemical and biological weaponry. Of its specifications, it features a crew of four with a commander, a gunner, a loader, and a driver. Its armor is Rotkinson Composite Armor with a main armament of MKEK 120mm 55 caliber smoothbore gun. The secondary armament features an Asselson Stamp II 12.7mm stabilized remote-controlled turret, one 762mm coaxial machine gun, and of its engine, it's multi-fuel with 1500 horsepower or 1800 horsepower by local design. The suspension is hydro-pneumatic and its operational range is 500 kilometers with a speed of 70 kilometers per hour at maximum. Thanks for watching today. If you've not subscribed, be sure that you do so. Also, turn on your notifications to get more videos like these in the future. Also, leave a like and a comment, and we'll see you next time.